Well, many a New Year's resolution was born out of a raucous New Year's Eve, right? Well, if your plan is to be healthier and more fit in 2012, we have some tips for your last cocktail of 2011 and your first cocktail of 2012. Lifestyle expert and author Christiane Klein joins us this morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. I asked you if these were non-alcoholic. You said, no, there's a, kind of a mix of what to have tonight and what to have tomorrow. Exactly, and I really wanted to focus on ginger because if you're looking to kind of get your New Year started off right, mm -hmm. this is a great herb and spice to actually have in your repertoire, like in your toolbox. Uh -huh. Because basically, um, in, in ancient India, mm -hmm. they actually used to refer to ginger as the universal medicine. It's fantastic for nausea, for upset stomach, great for tomorrow, mm -hmm. obviously. <laughs> um, great for detoxification, helps boost your metabolism, good for motion sickness. So it'll I really guess the, the, there was a reason Grandma gave us ginger ale, right, when our tummies were upset. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And the first recipe actually has ginger ale in it. And this I call my eggnog fizz martini which I love because normally if you're gonna have eggnog it's 450 to 500 calories per glass which right. is just crazy. And it's just heavy I mean it's just it's heavy it's thick yeah. you don't really want that so this one we're actually going to go a lot lighter still one egg white if you don't want to use the regular egg white you can use powdered egg that's mm -hmm. totally fine fat-free half and half right there okay. and then that's about one tablespoon of it and then we have one tablespoon and a half of spiced rum just okay. right in there real quick and then we have a little bit of cinnamon just a dash okay. you want the basically flavors of right. eggnog but without all the drama that goes along <laughs> with it okay and then we'll put a little bit of ice in there just to get it extra frothy okay. and i'm gonna let you have the honors Go ahead, be uh -huh. careful. Oh, shake, yeah, right, shake, shake. right on our new set. <laughs> <laughs> shake as hard as you can, and you really want to get a nice froth on this because this is going to be the base. And we're going to top this one off okay. with a little bit of ginger ale. So just where the bartenders usually tap it, right? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And we'll just go right off the top, right there. Just a little bit in there, and okay. then to that we're going to add about three tablespoons of ginger ale and what that's going to do is it's just going to get a nice little froth on top okay. so you're going to get the flavors and then right on top of that a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg okay and you can see just how pretty that is it's just so fast so easy mm -hmm. and actually pretty darn healthy for you too. yeah that's not, i mean it's much lighter than your traditional egg milk. exactly 72 calories you can't beat that especially on the last night of the year <laughs> this next one also has um ginger in it but we're going to use fresh ginger in this one okay. this one you can use non-alcoholic or alcoholic version this is our non-alcoholic version my husband and i drink this every single day it's okay. fantastic for you and right you're going to do here is we have equal parts honey and lemon juice and i'm using meyer lemons because they're fresh this season okay. and i happen to have some in our backyard <laughs> nice um, so two <laughs> tablespoons each and you just pop this in real quick there okay very very fast one teaspoon of fresh grated ginger and ginger is strong it is so 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 yes yeah, so you don't want to not you a little bit more to is too much <laughs> exactly you don't need to overload it and it, you're gonna get all those flavors in there no matter what. Okay. So this is gonna be our alcoholic version though. Okay. Since we already made that one. Okay. It's New Year's Eve. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna <laughs> add about two ounces of, oopsie, two ounces of vodka and one half ounce of ginger liqueur. And this okay. is fantastic. And this is my healthy beauty cocktail. And I call it that because every single thing inside of it mm -hmm. is fantastic for your body. It really is, as long as, long as it's the non-alcoholic version. Okay. You've got the lemon juice, which is great for detoxification, right. vitamin C, antioxidants. You have the honey packed with vitamins and minerals. I like that, is there really is a, that there's a non-alcoholic version too. So you make one for the kids, maybe throw in a little exactly. alcohol for yourself if you want a cocktail. And then um, we're just about out of time. I oh, see sure. that this is tea. That so. Uh, so this one was, would be for tomorrow morning. That's right. And that's a tisane, actually. And what okay. that is, is it's ginger and cinnamon. Both of those are really good for mm -hmm. nausea, for upset tummies. And you can also throw in some honey that'll help soothe and calm your stomach. Okay. And then, too, if you want to throw in a little bit of that extra lemon honey mixture just mm -hmm. to add that little boost, fantastic. Okay. You can also use that, too, as a facial mask. <laughs> you just want to chill out and actually have that in your face. Lots of tips in here. Uh, lots of herbal tips and how to get your new year started right thank you very much christiane for Absolutely. coming in nice thank to have you. you here and we'll be trying the tea tomorrow probably more <laughs> for the snacks than for the uh, cocktails but you know what are you gonna do much more ahead on today and today still to come over one man who is glad he waited until 2012 to get rid of one of his vices details next